first thing you do when you open live type is go to edit project properties and set it to set the presets to NTSC DV32. Then on the pixel aspect, change it to 1.19. This changes it to 16:9 aspect ratio and this is what we shoot in so this will fit the video perfectly. Now you're ready to start your project. If you're looking at live type, you have the canvas, which is like Final Cut, it's connected to your timeline, which is right here. You have the inspector um, palette, which allows you to manipulate the text or the style of the text, some effects. You could add timing things or do, uh, the attributes, or the colors and things. And over here you have your media browser, which allows you to add live fonts, which is just different ways that the uh, text can come in. You have different fonts you can use, textures or backgrounds that you can put and then also objects you can add special effects to it um, kind of like explosions or anything else you want that are right in there and then you have effects and this is how you want things to appear so let's create our title by clicking first in the first te text track right there and I'm going to call it title and there it is you have an endpoint and an out point on your line on your timeline and we're going to make this six seconds so right now it says title. I can move it around, I can manipulate it, I can make it do whatever I want. So there we go. If I want to make it bigger, I can highlight it, go to text, and just use my slider here and make my slightly bigger. Okay. So I have it called title. If I want to change the font on it, I can make it whatever I want. If I hit apply, it's going to change it. If I want to change the color of it, I go over here to color. I can pick a color and I have that changed. If I wanted to make it darker or lighter, I can. If I change the hue of it, it's going to change the color as well. Alright, so I have title. Now let's say I want a subtitle or something else. I go up to track, new text track, and that allows me to now put in maybe another track. So I could put by me. Okay, and if I want it to appear after the title, I can drag it down. It's going to automatically appear at two seconds after the title. So there it is. And if I want to move it and put it off the side, if I want to change the size, make it a little bit smaller. Okay. So now let's say I want to change the color of that. I go to attributes and I can change the color of it as well. Uh, let's make it that color. So let's say I want to add a background with this. If I want a background, I can go to textures and I can choose something out of here. Let's try smoke. If I hit apply to matte, it's going to apply it to the text. So we don't want to do that. I'm going to do it with Command Z. But if I apply to new track, notice it drops it down here underneath, which means puts it behind the background. All right. So this is on behind everything else. Now I can also even change the color of this if I wanted. I can make it maybe white or maybe gray or black or yellow or orange, whatever color I wanted. One of the rules is you usually do light colors and a dark background or you do dark colors for text and a light background and so there we go now let's say I want to also add an effect so how I want this to appear so I want my title to appear first and I maybe I want it to come in as a dirt stop I hit apply and there it is I can drag this out to make it longer or shorter if I didn't like it I can hit delete and then let's say I want to have something for by me now I have it drop and bounce. I'm going to apply that. So this is what we created. And there you go. There is the title.